I'm not finding my purpose in this. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. And yet God was laying the foundation mm. for the, the the next season of my life, going yeah. back into the industry <laughs> and being a voice and mm. uh, for Him. Absolutely. And yet I wouldn't have been able to speak about Him had I not had those 10 years to be home with my mm. kids that gave me the time that I focused on the Bible and my mm. relationship with the Lord. Life can feel like a roller coaster, but in the beauty and the chaos, if you look for it, life is full of love, joy, and kindness. Welcome to the Candace Cameron Bure podcast. We're here to share conversations about life's challenges, celebrations, and everything in between. Season three is Stories and Songs with Katie Nicole. Come join us. Life doesn't have to pause to go back to school. At Colorado Christian University, you can pursue your passion by earning your degree 100% online and still have time for life's adventures. Choose from over 100 undergraduate and graduate degree programs that are taught with a biblical worldview in a format that works with your busy schedule. Most classes are only five weeks long, so you can take one class at a time. Connect with a CCU enrollment counselor today at ccu.edu slash Candice. Hey there, we are back with Katie Nicole. And today we're talking about her song, God is in this story. And just as a reminder, you can follow along with all the music. Katie and I made a playlist for you at Candice.com. So I suggest go listen to the song and then come back and listen to the podcast episode or vice versa, however you like. So Katie, these songs, they're all about your life. They're Mm -hmm. about your relationship with God over time. You had a huge, huge year. You um, you were nominated for an American Music Award. You co-hosted and performed on uh, the GMA Dove Awards pre-telecast, and you've had two number one hits on Christian radio. It's amazing. <laughs> it really is. Um, and all of these songs are really about deep, deep personal stuff in your life. Mm-hmm. Um very beautiful things, but very Mm. hard and difficult things that I think a lot of people can relate to. And so I want you to tell me all about this song, God is in the story. How did this song come together for you? Mm. You know, I've talked already about the hard parts of life and kind of maybe some of the anger and the bitterness I held inside of me. And when it really comes down to this song, I was thinking, you know, what's important about God is that he's always present. Even when we can't see him, even when we can't feel him, he's always present. And there's so many moments in my life where I've looked back and I've seen his handprint on every single moment. Even when I was in those moments and I couldn't see him, it's like, I knew he was there, but now I've recognized that he was there. And I think sometimes we will miss things we'll miss things that God is doing in our life because we're not looking because we're not recognizing. And it's like, he never left. He never left us. And so um, I remember the day that I wrote this song. um, I wrote it with Ethan Hulse and Jeff Pardo Mm -hmm. and Ethan Hulse is a very (laughs) consistent writer in in a lot of these songs. Uh Um, And he's incredible. And we just sat and we talked about God being in our stories. And I think it was one of the most beautiful rights that I had because it was so like, it was such a good like social time, uh-huh. you know, like you, you get a good hang every once in a while yep. and sometimes you don't and that's okay. But this one was really just that. It was like, before we ever started writing anything, we were just talking about our lives and talking about the ways that God has shown up for us, how God has, you know, been present. And we even talked about how hard it is sometimes to see him in moments, mm-hmm. like the struggles. And I think maybe I even want to kind of throw this back to you and, and maybe ask you if there's a moment in your life where you didn't see him in that moment, but now you can look back and be like, oh, God was putting the pieces together. Oh, yeah. There's in in my life. There are so many moments because I think, uh, and I'll, and I'll give you an example, but we're always looking at the micro picture. We're looking Mm -hmm. at what's right in front of us. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to have the macro view, that big picture view all the time. And we have to step back and really, um, 
view it from a different lens. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that lens takes years to look through because you don't realize that for years, God has been planning something step by step, Yeah, but you just don't know it until you actually get there. So, you know, one of the the biggest examples in my life is that— well, I can see God's protection within the entertainment industry that mm. I that I work in. I've loved I I mean I I'm still in this industry. I really yeah. love it, but I've been in it for over 40 years. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I'm actually I'm I'm shocked at some of the the stories that I hear from other child actors who are my age or mm. a little bit older um, and even younger and the experiences that they have had that mm. have been horrific, just horrific. Mm. And it breaks my heart. It's awful to hear. Mm. And yet I don't have a similar story. And mm. I look back at it and I thought, and I've thought to myself, I haven't experienced almost like hardly anything that they have experienced. Mm. And I think of the protection. Yeah. I think of um, not only, I mean, God's hand overall, but also the the, the protection of my parents and yeah. that involvement in mm. my life. But um, I'm very grateful for it. Mm-hmm. And, um, and yet again, it breaks my heart to hear the other experiences that, that mm. people have had within my industry being uh, a child actor. Um, I also look at the season that I had uh, within motherhood that God took me out of the industry for a good 10 years. I didn't work in the industry so that I could be a mom. And there were days I struggled and struggled and struggled because I was just like, I'm not finding my purpose in this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. And yet God was laying the foundation for the, the the next season of my life, going yeah. back into the industry <laughs> and being a voice and mm. uh, for him. Absolutely. And yet I wouldn't have been able to speak about him had I not had those 10 years to be home with my mm. kids that gave me the time that I focused on the Bible and my mm. relationship with the Lord. Yeah, that's so important. And yeah. that's a really cool thing. I feel like that, that God has used you in such like all kinds of different ways. Like he's used you. And that's another thing I see is how, how God will use us in our stories. Mm -hmm. Like we're all vessels. We get to carry the goodness of God and you've got to carry it in this industry, but you've got to carry it as a mother and you, you know, and you get to carry it now and you've gone back into the industry to carry it through. And I just admire you for how, um, how well you carry it and thank you lead people too. I think that Thank it's you. just such a beautiful thing. So I just, I'm, I'm I grateful to see how it. God is in our stories. <laughs> I know. And honestly, I never <laughs> thought that I would be in this position. Mm-hmm. I, uh, even all the things that I, that I do, that I love, that I get to do, mm. but I didn't imagine when I was having babies in my early twenties and I was a mom that yeah. I was actually going to have this rebirth of a career mm. that would be all for his glory. That would just be mm. shining the light to point people to Jesus and take yeah. one step closer to Jesus. So that's yeah. an amazing kind of handprint that I can look back and go, wow, God, I had no idea. Yeah. And if he probably told me back then, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> and And, you know, who knows what course my life would have taken, but I think, you know, God works in subtleties also, but, but patience is sometimes difficult to have, but it's what we need to have and trust in him. Absolutely. So I want to know, because this song, uh, God is in the story, you did a collab with Big Daddy Weave. Yep. Love Big Daddy (laughs) Weave. I really love them. I've, um... I've known them for quite some time yeah. and I'm very good friends with uh, Jeremy Redman and his wife, Anna mm-hmm. Redman. Um, mm-hmm. She's a costume designer and uh, we Whoa. became fast friends. Like we let, met on a Caleb cruise wow. years ago and just kind of hit it off. And so anyway, I've, uh, mm-hmm. I, I love them, but I love their music. So how did this collaboration start? Yeah. So I, um, I actually got to go on a tour with them. It was a, very short run of a tour, but it was enough to see how incredible they are as people Mm -hmm. and how well they truly lead their team and, um, serve God. They are just, they're all walking ministries and it's amazing to see that. Um, and it was such a good introduction into Christian music to really see someone living out their faith and really living it out 
bold, boldly, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, Mike Weaver, he'll sit down and he'll pray with literally anybody and everybody. Like he just is that kind of person. I, I really say, I say this to a lot of people. I'm like, you are just a bundle of like sunshine <laughs> because that. he is. Yeah. And so um, he had actually in, invited me out because um, through the loss of his brother in Jesus name had actually really impacted their family. Mm. And he was like, who is this girl? How can I get her out on tour? And it just, it, it worked out. And so I got to sing a few songs every night with them and, um, and sing my own songs. And so through that, they had heard God is in the story because I had already been singing it. Cause it was a song that I had written almost two ish years ago now. Oh, so wow. it's, it's a little bit longer ago that I wrote that one. And it was, um, a very important song to me. And when we talked about, you know, collaboration, it was just kind of like, well, who better to do that than somebody who has such an incredible story to tell, but not just an incredible story to tell an incredible heart mm-hmm. to share that story and to share with other people's stories. You know, like we're all as one, it's our story. It's not just my story. It's not just his story. It's our story. And so like, I think that was just kind of a no brainer. Like he was amazing to put in this place and, um, and he did it with such like, Oh, it's so good. Um, his voice is amazing. Yeah, it is. I don't think that it gets much better than hearing Mike Weaver's voice from the distance. Um, you're just like that, that man can sing. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. What? So he is just so incredible. And I'm so grateful that we've got to gotten to share this and, um, with yeah. so many people too. Yeah. Like, it's been such a gift. Okay, I am excited to tell you about a great opportunity to pursue your passion and find your calling with a degree from Colorado Christian University. CCU offers Christ-centered higher education that transforms students to impact the world with grace and truth. This means you can earn your undergraduate or graduate degree from a university that not only shares your faith and values, but integrates them in every course. Plus, most degree programs are 100% online and designed specifically for busy adults. School should work around your schedule, not the other way around. That's why they have five-week classes that allow you to take one class at a time and work on your studies when it's convenient for you. Check them out using my unique link at ccu.edu slash Candice to learn more. So I always think of, of songs because you, you wrote this song and you felt like it was fitting. Hmm. Is there a part of you that, is it just a joy to have a collaboration with someone like you dream of this? Or is there a part where you're like, um, but this song is so personal to me that yeah. maybe you wouldn't want to collab with someone? Yeah, no, that's a that's definitely an interesting question because I feel like, yes, the, this song was incredibly personal to me. Um, and there was definitely like a back and forth of like, do we have a collaboration on it or do we not? And, you know, it, it felt, it felt right. And it yeah. still feels right now. It feels like it yeah. was what, you know, God, he does things that we don't expect sometimes too. Yeah. And I feel like this was an unexpected gift and it's just been really cool to see that. But I would say that there's definitely times where I have songs where I'm like, no collaborations on this one. Yeah. This one is my story. And I, I feel as though it's so personal to me. Well, and you wouldn't want to put somebody on it if it's not their story right, too. I think right. it'd be odd if you had something, you know, that is about your life and somebody else is singing about it, but they have no experience in it sure. kind of thing. Um, but God is in the story. It encompasses everybody. Yeah. So it was just one of those things where I was like, I just want everyone to s- see that they are included in this mm-hmm. and that this is, you know, a connecting point that I, I get to make with people is that it's our story. Yeah. Well, I absolutely love this song. And this is one of them that is number one on the charts. Yeah. So you guys all have to go listen. Aww. It's so good. Um, let's get to our listener question for the day. Absolutely. Okay. This is from, I think it's Makame, Makame. He or she, I'm not sure, says, I'm 19 and God told me bits and pieces of my purpose but I feel like his plans are taking forever to be fulfilled. Mm. How do I be patient during the wait? And why is God making me wait? Mm. Thanks. Mm. Oh, I know waiting can be so hard. I can certainly relate to this because, yeah. because that's why there are seasons of life. There yes. are seasons and they really do come and go. Um, You know, Katie, I'm curious about this question for you because your life actually um, 
within the music industry, I mean, mm-hmm. it really happened mm-hmm. quickly once that record label, yeah. that contract was signed and your first hit went to number one and your second <laughs> song went to number one. I mean, right. that happened really <laughs> fast. So someone might say like, well, I don't know if Katie can relate because maybe she yeah. hasn't had to be patient. This, like her dreams happened really fast for her. But have there been times in your life where you've had to learn to be patient? Well, I think um, even though the dream kind of unfolded really quickly, um, the dream was always there for a long time. So I think there was a point where I was probably about 17 years old where I kind of gave up on the dream. And so that's why I turned around and I went to go to the medical field was because I was like, well, this isn't working for me. And I just, I had auditioned for a lot of different TV shows, like the voice and American Idol and all the things. And that Wait, just, you did, did you not get through the rounds of the voice or no. <laughs> or American Idol? Mm-mm. Seriously? Mm-mm. That is crazy. Well, and it crushed my dreams. Oh. It crushed my dreams. And I like, said, okay, well then I'm not very good at this and I should probably just quit. So I did for a season. And then I eventually came back to it when I was basically pushed back into it by God. Like Mm -hmm. it wasn't, it wasn't a choice by that point, but I think, you know, for all of the hard work that I had put in, I was playing gigs from the age of 17 until about 20 years old. Um, where I would play three to four hour gigs at least three times a weekend. So like, wow, I was putting in all, and then I became a full-time worship leader and still would do some of those gigs on the weekends. So there really wasn't a day that music wasn't involved in my life, but to me, it was just like, okay, this is a job for me now. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. But that, you know, it took a little bit of the joy away too. And I think, so I needed to know that if this was what I was going to do, that, that God would open at least one door for me to see, like, this is where I'm supposed to go. But it doesn't mean that it happened right away. And it really didn't happen in a way that I thought it was going to happen. Yeah. And so in, in those seasons of waiting in those seasons of, you know, having to be patient, I think you should just embrace that, Mm -hmm. embrace those moments that you get to have with God, embrace those God moments that you're going to have, you know, like don't miss out on the waiting season because it's actually a beautiful season to be in. And it's going to, it's going to give you something like patience is such a gift. Mm -hmm. It's such a gift that you'll want the rest of your life. So if you can be patient now, just think about other seasons you might be in, in the future, God's preparing you for that. And God's going to use that. That is, that time is not wasted. I want, I want to point that out is that it's just not a wasted season. Unless you do waste it, don't waste that time. Like you have the opportunity to just spend time with the Lord. All of that time could be going to Jesus. So look at that, preaching another word. (laughs) It's so true. Amen to that. Um, Patience truly is a virtue. Mm -hmm. um, And it's, I think it's difficult to an extent Mm -hmm. for everyone, but some more than others. And when you learn to sit, in patience, Mm. but actually use, utilize that time for Mm -hmm. whatever it is. And and like you said, spending time with the Lord, that's never wasted. It's going to always come back tenfold when you do. So Macame, Macame, (laughs) however we pronounce it, um, think about this, this season in your life right now that you are being patient to really lean into your time with the Mm. Lord and, uh, and watch and wait what he's doing. And if you decide to take steps to move forward, Forward into something else. Well, I, I always truly believe that God is going to bring you back onto that right path and open and close the right doors so that um, he will set your course. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us. Life really can be like a roller coaster and the right song at the right time. Well, it can change the whole experience. We have something special for you this season. Katie and I made a playlist just for you. Go to Candice.com and we've got a link to all of the music from these episodes, plus some extra songs Katie and I picked out that we hope you're going to love. Find the link at Candice.com or in our show notes. Until next time, be grateful all day, every day. Hey there, I'm so glad you're here. If there was anything you just watched that was encouraging, hit the like button and let me know and comment below and tell me your favorite song from Katie's album. 
This has been a Candace Cameron Bure podcast, a production of Candy Rock Entertainment. Some of the products and services mentioned are paid promotions. Any advice should be confirmed with a qualified professional. Opinions and ideas are for entertainment purposes only and belong to Candy Rock Entertainment. All rights reserved.